I swear he would lose his head if it weren't permanently attached to his body. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Make Toys Coppola! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right here we have Coppola in his robot and his vehicle modes. On this side of the box, we just have Coppola and a faded picture there of his face. On the other side, you know, remaster Coppola with a faded picture of the side of his leg, because that's epic for some reason. On the bottom of the box, hey, contents, Coppola. On the top of the box, Coppola. On the back of the box, you have Coppola, 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 Coppola. He does a couple of other things. <laughs> yes! That was horrible. Anyway, that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along. I would say bad jokes aside, but that never happens on this show. Anyway, <clears throat> so here we have Coppola, which is Make Toys' take on a masterpiece Chrome Dome. And uh, this figure, I will say right now, is really, really cool. I really like this guy. This is a very, very nicely done figure. And uh, yeah, we'll get in close here so you can see some of the details. Nice molded details, some, you know, some sparse paint ups throughout, but they do what they need to do. You get some different shades of silver here on the front you get some blue you get the red and white right there nice shade of red and the brown just matches perfectly with chrome dome and just all around very nicely done figure very cool you get some paint apps back here and just all around very cool very well done he's got gold chromed rims he's got a nice uh, nice tinted windshield here nice tinted transparent windshield um, so it just makes me think that chrome dome is from the hood I mean, think about it. He's got tinted windshields, gold rims. Come on. They see him rolling. They hate him. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> but very nicely done, nonetheless. Um, and these ain't no plastic tires. These are rubber tires, which is very, very nice. I know it's a premium nowadays. Very nice rolls. Nice and smooth. Very, very cool. Underneath, you can pretty much see the robot mode legs right there. But, yeah, very, very nicely done all around. Now, he does come with his Headmaster, of course. So, here it is, and very nicely done. Getting close here so you can see his face. And all around, a very, very nicely done little Headmaster here. You can see the uh, these inner panels here. See his little arms and fists molded in there. They're very cool. And, of course, he does have the... Uh, the head back there. And you see the panel does come down here to kind of hide the, uh, the robot mode eyes. So at least it does that. There you go. Articulation wise, he cannot move his head. Um, his shoulders are on a little ball joint right in there, so you do get outward movement. Not a whole lot of movement, but you know, he can move his arms. Not that far back, you know, you can move them up, move them out. He does have an elbow joint with 90 degrees of movement there. His little legs are on a ball joint. Again, range of movement is a bit hindered due to his transformation, but he can move them up. He does have a knee joint with full range of movement, again, due to transformation. And the knee joints on mine are really stiff. So, there you go. And just for comparison, here he is with the Fence Projects version of the Headmaster. So, there you go. Obviously, uh... A lot bigger and bulkier because this is obviously a bigger toy, so he's going to need a bigger headmaster. So, there you have that. And, of course, he can drive the car. Just open up this section right here. And you actually get a pretty nice detailed interior here. He does have two seats. He is a two-seater, which is really nice. And there actually is a little steering wheel in there, which is a really nice touch. But there's actually a steering wheel in there, and on this other side, you can kind of see they kind of molded in a little console there. So, a nice, you know, some nice details, even in the interior here, you can kind of see in there also, this panel right there, some little molded details, so, pretty cool, very nicely done. And you just take the headmaster, it's, it's best if you just kind of take his legs and just plug them together, makes life a little bit easier. And then you just kind of get him into a sitting position, get his arms up, and just sit him down in there. Like that. And there you go. You can close it up. There you go. So now he's in there. 
he's driving, he's riding, yeah, very, very cool. And if you lift up this panel, you can see the uh, the tech specs, the Headmaster tech specs right there, his Spudstrint. So, and again, even the inside of this panel has some molded detail, which is really nice, and even in here, some nice molded details, so. There you have that. He also comes with his two guns, which are done in red plastic with that little dot of blue right there in the sights. Simple, basic, they do what they need to do. And they do store in vehicle mode. You got these two ports right up here. You just take a plug it in, plug it in, and there you go. So now he's riding with all his weapons at his headmaster. And for comparison, let's bring in some masterpieces here. Here is with MP10. So you can see how he scales with Prime. He's definitely a little bigger than he should be in uh, in vehicle mode, but eh. here he is with Sideswipe. Again, you can see he's a very, very big car compared to Sideswipe. So there you have that. Here he is with Fans Project's take on Chrome Dome. Their code. You can see he's tiny compared to Coppola. And here he is with the Club Store Chrome Dome. The Collector's Club Chrome Dome, right there. So, there you have that. So yeah, all around though, very, very cool. Nice job on the alt mode, looks really, really nice. So let's just get down to transformation, shall we, let's. So let's just remove the guns, put these off to the side for now. We'll get in here and get the Headmaster out, because we're going to eat him later. You sit this one out, buddy. You sit out the rest of this. So now, we're going to leave this up, and we're going to come right here to the front, and we're just going to untab these front sections right here. You so see, just tab in right there. So just bring those up and forward, get that out of the way. You just want to start untabbing stuff. You want to untab this hood section here. Let's untab that, untab that, bring that up. You're going to come back here. You can take this red section here, flip it up, and it'll tab in right there. Just tab that in. Come back here, untab these rear sections, and fold those back. Right now, you're pretty much just unlocking everything. You want to come to these side panels right here, and you want to bring this down. You want to untab this. This actually this section tabs in in three places. So once you get that done, you can see like this. This tab actually hooks in right underneath here. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it hooks in under there. And then this piece goes into this groove right here, and this tabs in right there. So it locks in in three places, so it holds very securely. So you bring that down. Come over here, do the same thing. Just un. Tab that, and then just bring this down, and there you go. So now, you're going to come down here, you're going to untab these sections right here, bring that up, rotate it, and just get that up and out of the way, untab it, rotate it, bring that out of the way, and now you can take these sections right here and push them up, right there. So now you got this whole assembly here all loosey-goosey. I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit so I have some room to operate. So now we're going to take this whole assembly right here along with this armature right here, which is die cast. He does have a good bit of die cast in him. So you want to take all of this and, oh, one thing you want to do too is you want to take this front section here, this middle section, and just bring this down on this double hinge right there. Once you've got that done, now we can take all this and bring this around again. I'm going to bring these down, get everything out of the way. Bring this around like that. Once you have that done, I have to raise the camera again because I need more room to operate. <laughs> Once you have that done, we're going to work on his legs. So you can just take these panels and close them back up. Right here. And you want to take the foot and you just want to pull it down slightly so that untabs. You see it just tabs in right in there. You can bring that foot down. You want to take this panel, fold that down, take this whole assembly and fold it in, and it will fill in that gap in the back of his leg. And you got that. So then you just take his foot here. It's on this hinge here in a ball joint. You just want to take it and just push it up and back. And then just take this and push it down so it fills in that gap. And there you got a leg basically done. Second row, same as the first. Again, close that up. Take the foot, pull it down, strain it out, pull that down. Fold that in, right there. 
bring that foot up bring that foot up and then just orient that so it fills in that gap and there you guys legs basically done so now we will move on to the upper body there is some interesting stuff going on here you want to take the arms and just bring them all around like that you want to untab these brown sections from this gray section so you just want to lift that up lift that up and then you're going to take this whole assembly and there's a a, a pivot right here you're just going to take this and rotate this 180 like that and then you're going to take this double hinge and collapse it in you can see it collapse that in and then take this double hinge right here and that will collapse into there so you got them like that. And then again, we got to raise the camera because now he's getting tall. Whole lot of camera moving going on here. He's a big boy. He is definitely a big boy. So there we go. So now that we're in this position, now you can take these side panels here from earlier, which were the uh, front bumper of the car. See there are tabs right here. These tabs will tab into these slots right here. So just take that bring it up on that double hinge and just tab that in right there and that will lock that in place same thing on the other side just bring that up tab it in and there you go so that locks that into place for some further locking you're going to take these panels and there is a little tab right there that'll tab into the slot right there so just bring that up line that up push it in and there you go Do the same thing over here Push that in, and there you go. So now you got a whole lot of locking going on. Now we're going to get even some more locking going on. Because now it's time to do the arms. So we'll bring these up like that for now. Bring the chest up. Actually, before you do that, you want to take the hood here and compress it. You see these are on sliders here. So you just want to take it and just whoop, slide those in like that. And now we can bring that chest plate up. And we're going to bring this panel up, and this will lock in three separate places, this whole shoulder assembly. So this tab is going to go right there. This tab on this armature, which is die cast, by the way, this tab will tab in right up top here, and this tab will end up going into this groove, if you can see it right here. So this is locking in in three separate places, and it sounds like it's hard to do, but it's really not. Basically, what you have to do is just get this, get this tab tabbed in kind of like halfway, and then once you do that, you can bring this down, line that up, and then you can plug this into the top slot and then push it into that side slot. And then push everything together, and there you go. Everything's nice and snug. Then you just extend the arm, Bring the fist down, rotate it, hit the top of the shoulder, just bring it back, and there you got an arm all done. Second verse, same as the first. Bring that up, again, just slightly tab it in, just to get it started. And then just bring this down, oops, I missed, there we go, bring that down, and then push that in, and finish pushing that in, and there you go, that's all nice and secure. Again. Extend the arm, bring the hand down, rotates, close up the shoulder. You can take this roof section here, bring that down against his back. You can take these wheels on his hips and just rotate them to the back. Oops, make sure you clear that crotch piece there. And I think we're basically done with the base robot. Yes, we are. So we're done with the base robot here. As you can see now, he doesn't have a head. He's missing a head. So now it's time to bring in our little headmaster dude. Focus, headmaster dude. You focus. There we go. So transform him. You want to take his whole uh, waist assembly here. You just want to bring that up. Like that. And you see there are tabs right here, and they'll tab into the slots around right the insides of his forearms. So just, oh, actually you want to bring up the... Uh, this plate to reveal his eyes. There you go. Now that'll be lined up. So you can tab those arms into the sides. And again, just have the legs clipped together. And these tabs right here will end up going into the fronts of his shoulders. So you just bring that down. Line it up. The joints on mine are tight. There we go. 
tab that in and all that locks in nice and securely and there you have Chrome Dome's beautiful, beautiful face. There you go. And you just take it, plug it up top, and boom! There you go. There you have Chrome Dome, Coppola, whatever you want to call him, in his robot mode. He looks really nice. I really, really like this figure. Just so, so well done, as far as I'm concerned. Just looks so, so nice. And again, getting close here on his head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt, definitely. Looks like Chrome Dome. Nice blue eyes. Very well done. And just all around a very, very nice design. Very nice, solid design. It works. The transformation, you know, the transformation is kind of intricate, but it works. And it works well. And uh, just all around very, very nicely done. Um, Articulation-wise, his head can rotate and do a 360. It is on that same joint as the Fans Projects version. You can see, like, where, where the Headmaster connects. It just has that little plate here that can... Um, I can pivot like that, so you can use that to get some, you know, downward. You can look down right into his chest, and if you rotate it and plug it in the other way, you can kind of get him looking up, although the head will start to kind of unseat itself, but you can kind of get him looking up also. So totally up to you how you want to orient that. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint. They, also, they are also on this hinge here for outward movement which is nice. So you do have, you also get some forward and backward movement due to the transformation joints. Um, one nice thing about this is that, you know, he does have tall shoulders, so while he can move his arm outward when it's just hanging down, if you want outward movement when he's holding his arm out, you can see that his shoulder is kind of restricting that, but since there is a transformation joint here, you can just lift this up and whoop, there you go. Now you have that outward movement, which is nice. So you can use those transformation joints to your benefits. He does have a bicep swivel, does have 90 degrees there of bend at the elbow, he does have a wrist swivel, the hands can open and close, all four fingers are just one solid piece. He can open and close his hands. He does have a waist joint, the legs are on a nice ratchet, can go forward that much, backwards that much. Not a lot of outward movement, unfortunately, you only get one, two clicks of outward movement just due to the wheels. Um, he does have a nice ratcheted thigh swivel. He does have ratcheted knees, 90 degrees of movement, and the knee joint itself right here, you can see this is die cast. And the feet, if you use those joints, again, you have this, uh, this hinge right here and a ball joint right here, so you can use that hinge to get a lot of range of movement as well as some nice tilted shear. So, he is pretty poseable, pretty poseable. I like to bring his hips that one click for me. That's ideal for me. So, there you have that. Now, of course, he can hold his weapons. You can just take this post right here and just flip that down to give him the longer handles. And you can see that these are actually, the handles are actually, um, how, I don't know how well you can see it, but they're actually kind of molded in a way where they had this little, these little notches on the sides. And his hands right here in the back are molded to accommodate that so you can plug the guns into his hands and he holds them super securely so even when his hands open like those those are not falling out those are locked in there so that's really nice how they did that just flip that down give him his other gun let's get it in there oops you do kind of have to open his hand a little bit and there we go so yeah very very cool and of course if you don't want him holding his guns he does still have these ports right here that he used in vehicle mode, so you can take the guns and just plug them onto his back for storage. Totally up to you, but still, it's nice. It's an option. So there you go. And of course, you can flip this down and see his his spud strength, since he has a headmaster. So very, very nicely done. Now for comparison. All right, let's go through the rundown here. Here he is with the collectors club, Chrome Dome, and fans projects Chrome Dome. That's a whole lot of Chrome Dome going on. There we have that. I don't own any G1 Headmaster, so sorry. <laughs> no precious comparison, sorry. No precious, no, no precious. Here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee and Masterpiece Sideswipe. And again, Wheeljack and Prowler are the same height. So, again, just to give you a general idea of how many scales with those guys. Get these guys out of the way. 
Just making sure I don't miss anybody here. Here he is with Prime. You can see pretty much the same height as Prime. Maybe a hair shorter than Prime. But there you go. You got him with Prime. Right there. Here he is with Apollyon. You can see pretty much, again, just a hair shorter than Apollyon. Not Megatron. And what else have we got here? I'll bring in some Decepticons. Here he is with Soundwave. Here he is with Sugar or Astro Train. You can see how he scales with those guys. Right there. And what else have we got? What else have we got? We'll bring in Quick Wave, Shock Wave, and we'll bring in Screamer. Right there, see how he scales with the uh, some Decepticons. Right there, and moving right along. What else have we got? Here he is with Tesla Perceptor. And I already swapped out the uh, brighter blue for the duller blue, and I really like that better. So there he is with Tesla. Here he is with Transistor. You can get the comparison here for Transistor and Tesla also, because I totally forgot to do that. So, there you have that comparison. So, there you go. And what else? What else? What else? We still got more. We're not done yet, people. We're not done. Here he is with Hot Rod. Here he is with Grimlock. Without the Scoria booties, just stock Grimlock. So, there he is there. Hurrah, 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 hurrah. Let's get these guys out of the way. Let's bring in some of the big boys here. Here he is with Magnus. That's how he scales with Magnus. Then we have that. And last but not least, here he is with Star Saber. Just because. So there he is with Star Saber. And, yeah, I think that's it. I believe that's it. There we go. Jeez, man, jeez. But yeah, as far as this figure goes, very, very cool. Nicely done figure. You know, great quality figure also. Um, this guy is just dead solid. I mean, I have other Make Toys uh, products, and, um, you know, their stuff is just dead solid. Very cool. I like the die cast in them, so it does give him some heft. Just all around a very, very nicely done figure, a very well done figure, and I am looking forward to whatever else they do in this remaster line. This very, very cool. I, I really, really dig it, and uh, I think definitely worth the price of admission. So, if you are interested in this guy in any way, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so do check it out. And I think that's it for this guy. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Make Toys Coupola, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face. You know, Chrome Dome, I really like you, Headmaster guys. You know why? Here, let me borrow this. What are you doing? This is very inappropriate. Seriously, quit it! These little guys are like Rubik's Cubes! <laughs> Hours of fun!